This is my honey and vanilla cheesecake. And the ingredients are speculous biscuits, double cream, full fat cream cheese, creme fraiche, vanilla pods, and honey. Then we're gonna decorate it with mixed berries and we're having some fun with this caster sugar later. So let's start with our biscuit base. Now I'm using speculous biscuits here because they've got a fantastic buttery and ginger taste. These are Belgian short crust biscuits available in all good supermarkets. And I'm also using them because my friends at Waffle and Dingus make a fantastic waffle with speculous spread. You don't have to use speculous biscuits. Digestives work very well, even chocolate digestives or even ginger nut biscuits. Any type of biscuit will work for the base. Lid on and blitz. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. It's a really fine consistency. It's going to be perfect for our biscuit base. So I'm now going to take our tin. I've got here a normal cake tin, spring release. And what I'm going to do is turn the base upside down. This is going to make it easier to serve and take off at the end. I'm using a non-stick tin here. And these biscuits have got a lot of butter in. I'm not even going to need to oil the bottom. I'm just going to flatten it just with my hands. And I like the idea to have a very rich cheesecake on top and then a fine flaky, crumbly bottom underneath. So it's nice and set, put to one side. Now we can start on the filling. In a large bowl, I'm simply going to add double cream, next some cream cheese, get it all in, and make sure you use full fat cream cheese. This is a cheesecake. And creme fraiche, some honey, and last of all, I'm going to add some vanilla. So I've got these lovely, plump, fat vanilla pods, and I'm just going to cut them through the middle, and just scrape out this rich filling inside. And who doesn't like the smell or the taste of vanilla? And it reminds me of nothing but just sweet, lovely puddings. And then all you have to do is whisk the ingredients. So you'll find it comes together really quickly and the consistency you want is thick whipped cream. Oh, nearly. And this is gonna work perfectly as a nice, rich, creamy filling. Now the base is made, the filling's ready, so let's fill the tin. And just start to spread, making sure the base is completely covered before you actually start shaping it and moulding the top. So this cake is perfect for any occasion. The beauty of it is it's just so easy to make. One last smooth off. Now unlike a traditional baked New York cheesecake, this has got no eggs in. So all I'm going to do is chill it for about two to three hours until set. I now want to start thinking about my topping, and I want this to look as good as it can. So I'll be covering it in mixed berries, which are going to give it so much colour. But I'm also going to be making some sugar sticks, just using caster sugar and a heavy base saucepan. And simply pour in some caster sugar. And you can see round the edges, it's just starting to melt. All the sugar's melted, I've got a lovely rich colour. It's very, very hot, so be careful. What I'm going to do now is start to drizzle it onto a mat. You don't have to be neat, just start to make some patterns. Now, the sugar sticks will take seconds to set, so I'm going to go and get the cake from the fridge. Right, the cheesecake is set and ready, so I want to release it from the tin the sides are stuck to it. So to release it, I'm going to use a blowtorch. And just start gently easing it around the sides. Now, if you don't have a blowtorch, before you make the cheesecake, just line the tin with greaseproof paper. And that looks lovely. And it's now ready to dress. And you just start to get all these lovely colours, and it just really brings it to life. And then last of all, the sugar sticks. So I'm just going to peel them off and just start layering over the cake. Right, now let's taste this. Mm, what I really like is the speculous biscuits give it a really fine base and a rich, creamy vanilla and honey filling with the berries and the sugar sticks to snap at the end. This is a cheesecake fit for any family occasion. My honey and vanilla cheesecake topped with fresh summer berries. And now for the beetroot dressing. 
Now I've got some lovely fresh baked beetroot here, but it can be quite a messy affair. So I'm going to use some gloves for this. I'm going to take a new chopping board and take a beetroot, just peel away the skin. Now let's get ready to fill this. My first layer is going to be potatoes, onion and cheese. I'm seasoning each layer as we go with a little salt and pepper. 